Words have power. They can create or destroy, sowing unity, division, love, hate, peace, and violence. Rwanda, 1994. The media was used to spread hate speech against the Tutsi minority that turned to genocide, killing more than one million people within only 100 days. Today, hateful words can travel faster, further. Hate speech online spills into reality, destroying societies and stripping people of their humanity. Words have power, but the tools we use to spread them are just as powerful. In Indonesia, hate speech is weaponized based on religious identity, uh, which is often linked with political identity. Hate speech and disinformation often trigger the violations of citizens' rights that are actually protected by the Constitution. In Colombia, hate speech is used against women as a form of online gender violence to push us out of spaces of civil and political participation. This leads to self-censorship, undermines their freedom of expression, but also compromises their offline and online safety. Around the world, there is a growing demand for trustworthy internet spaces and for digital platforms to be more transparent and accountable, adopting a human rights approach in their design, content moderation and curation, policies and promoting media and information literacy. Collective efforts to reach this goal are already starting to happen, triggering positive change. In Kenya, all our efforts suffered from an inconsistent exchange of knowledge and experiences between us. Now, we joined forces through our multi-stakeholder coalition, ECOMO. We are taking joint positions about emerging issues of digital spaces, and we are much more powerful in voicing what the needs of our communities are when we speak as one. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, we have vibrant civil society uh, that has been engaged in monitoring and countering hate speech. Before, Although our country had been facing pressing challenges related to online hate speech, major social media platforms didn't have any local presence um, or engagement in the country. As part of the multi-stakeholder coalition, this has changed. We are establishing meaningful dialogue with digital platforms and demanding more accountability. At the heart of our efforts is fostering collaboration with multiple stakeholders and protecting freedom of expression and the right to information, building tools and networks to counter hate speech. Together, we can use the power of words for good.